guys, it's Sandro here. In today's video is an update to see how the Sliplow bumper guard is going 9 months after its installation on my partner's car for those of you who saw that original video. But firstly, I'm just going to do another Sliplow guard installation on my own Alfa Romeo Brera. Now this is just going to be a very quick run through the process so if you guys want a more in-depth step-by-step guide on installing it, I suggest you have a look at that first installation video, which I'll also add to the end screen, this one. And for those of you who are interested in purchasing it, there'll also be a 10% discount code in the description box, which you can use at the Sliplo website that also helps support this channel. Now, as you guys can see, the underside of my poor Brera's bumper is quite scratched up, with some pretty significant gouges, as it's a relatively low car from the factory, though certainly not as low as some cars. Now ideally it would have been great to install the slip low guard before this damage occurred, so I guess this is going to be a better late than never install, so I can at least prevent any further damage in the future, as well as show you guys once again how seriously easy it is to install on just about any car. Now just before I installed the guards, I gave the underside of the bumper skirt a quick polish to eliminate any fine scratches and remove any paint protection residue to ensure I get a good solid bond. But like I mentioned in the first video, you don't have to polish the area before installation. Just make sure you wash it with some car soap and then give it a good wipe down with some cleaning or rubbing alcohol. Now the way I'm going to install the slip low guards is that I'll mark the center point of the bumper and then work from the middle point to the outer edges. And as I also mentioned in that first video, I'll position the guards about an inch or two from the edge and slightly curve them to conform to the panel shape. Once I'm happy after lining them up by eye, I'll use the included adhesion promoter and wipe it all over the whole area that I intend to stick the guards to, as this will ensure I get a good solid bond. After all of that, the easiest part is just sticking them on. Now in the kit, you do get some templates you can use if you feel it will help you line them up a little bit better, but otherwise you just press them on into place, one by one connecting them all up. Once they're all in place, the last and extremely important step is to spend a good 5 minutes pressing all of them down with a bit of pressure, securing them into place, and that's it. Just try and keep the area relatively dry for the first couple of days while the adhesive fully sets and your car should be set for the next 10 years. Now what I really love about them is that unless you get down on the ground, you'll never even know they're there. But you will be thankful they are there the next time your bumper scrapes along the tarmac. 
But like I've mentioned a few times now guys, have a look at that first video if you want a more comprehensive overview of the SlipGuard system and a more thorough step-by-step -step installation guide. So at the time I filmed this secondary update video, it was just gone 9 months since I installed the Sliplo guards on my partner's Alfa Romeo Giulietta. As we continue to have a look at both the guards and the bumper's skirt underside, you guys will hopefully be able to see that there is no new damage whatsoever and the guards themselves haven't budged a bit. They're definitely still holding strong and sitting rock solid in place and they've without a doubt done their job and prevented any new scratches or scuffs. Additionally, you'll also see, after giving the area a quick waterless wash, that the guards still look brand new, and I'm really amazed that they haven't been scuffed up at all. So, needless to say, I'm extremely happy and impressed with them. And for you guys that have asked for this update video, I hope this helps you out. And I'll also try and do another video further down the track where we'll have a look at the Sliplo guards on both these cars once again. Now another question that some of you posted in the original video was if the Sliplo guards could be removed without damaging the paint. So what I did about 6 months ago was stick one of the guards onto a test panel and apart from giving it a wash every now and then it was just left outside. So the way I would recommend removing it is similar to a car badge removal in that you want to firstly heat up the adhesive so it becomes easier and safer to remove and you need to take your time and allow the heat to travel through the guard to the backing tape. Once it's all warmed up, you could use some fishing line to run it behind the backing tape as you would with a badge removal or just a little tool to prop it up while you continue using your heat gun. But once you have an edge up, the rest of it will come off quite easily. And as far as removing the backing tape residue from the panel, you should be able to just collect it and ball it up with your fingers or something like a drill driven caramel wheel which I've shown in a couple of past videos but unfortunately didn't have with me at the time should make this process so much quicker. And if there's any slight marring in the finish similar to when you're removing a car badge a quick polish should easily clean it up. Now I've personally got no plans to remove the slip low guards on my own cars but if for some reason you wanted to I hope this little demo helps some of you out. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share this video, like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon.